This is Joey DeMaio. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Over the years, there's been a lot of discussions about one of our favorite subjects. I'm talking about speed. It's a big discussion, and people like Michael will go into it in a little while. Dirk, our engineer, will go into it. But I think people misunderstand at least what I'm doing with my instrument. This instrument is a piccolo bass guitar. It's a regular bass guitar, but it is tuned to the octave. Uh, of a guitar, and that's why people think I'm playing a guitar. I'm not. I assure you it's a bass guitar with bass guitar strings. But I don't play this normally when I'm on tour. I use this for solos, for speed demonstrations, for accuracy, because if I played my regular bass, no matter what tone I used, I'm sure it would not represent the clarity of being up and active. So it's really for a demonstration purpose only. We got together today because it has, as I said, been a discussion that we wanted to address about speed, people who play fast, how they achieve that through practice and work, and also how they gauge speed. We're going to go up to 30 notes per second. And uh, the thing that makes this so interesting is when you see sometimes people play it, they might ascend or they might do a quick rip. We're going up and down. We're using a part of the Mixolydian scale. We go up and hit the flat at seventh and we start on a major seventh and play a major scale up until that flat at seventh. But this is really fun to do. It is not easy to do, but I love it. People, you know, always say, oh, fast doesn't mean anything, but to be a great musician, to be able to be a virtuoso, quote unquote, you need to play fast. And sometimes you just want to feel the need for speed. Everybody um, watches a lot of these YouTube videos um, which show um, a certain BPM number. But to me, I always question what is the reference, the musical reference of this BPM number? Because it could be anything. If you say, um, I play at 200 BPM, Yes, but what is the musical reference? The musical reference will be at 4-4 four, four, and a 64th note for each measure. Important is to look at the um, file here that shows the note. What is highlighted here is one bar of 4-4. Four, four. Here's a subdivision of 1, 2, 3, 4, and each subdivision is a quarter note. And we're dividing this quarter note up into 16 subdivisions. So. If you calculate that 4 times 16, a whole bar, it would be a 64th note. So this is at the moment 30 beats per minute, okay? The only thing that will change is basically how many notes a second they have to play. What will change is how fast they have to play each 64th note per second. At 30 BPM, this translates to 10 notes a second in order to complete a bar. Then um, at 113, which will be the highest tempo we're going to do today, this will translate 30 notes per second. So I hope that made it a little bit clearer what I mean by uh, having an actual musical reference to saying that um, I'm playing at such and such BPM. Now we can start, I guess. Shattered the time continuum. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> we heard it before we played it. Now we're going to go up to 80 BPM. 90 now, Mike. Yes. Now we're going beyond, now we're leaving the shred zone. Right? Yes, this is the ultra <laughs> shred zone. <laughs> It's so fast we are reversing time. We were actually end at 11.59. We're communicating with alien life. T minus three, two, one, ignition. 